It's a heartbreaking reality that every day in the world, there are so many people who, unfortunately, must deal with the loss of their little ones in tragic accidents, battles with cancer, or other illnesses. And it might be a good idea to grab some tissues for this story, that of six-year-old Leland Shoemake, because it is certainly an emotional journey that you will hardly forget. Leland Shoemake was an ordinary six-year-old boy living a quiet, happy life with his parents in the town of Williamson, Georgia. His infectious joy, keen intellect, and creative spirit left an indelible mark on those who knew him. He knew his ABCs, numbers, colors, shapes, and 20 sight words by the time he was one year old. He was our little nerd, and we loved that about him. He loved school and learning. He loved the History Channel, the Weather Channel, documentaries, and anything related to history. His excited mother, Amber Shoemake, recounts in a recent social media post. Leland was a really bright child with an exceptional mind. He was passionate about going to school, and his biggest dream was to become a space engineer and travel into space. Someday I'll get to be an astronaut, and you'll see me on TV with one of those beautiful spacesuits. You'll see, Mom. I'll study very hard to achieve it, and be one of those men that history will always remember with pride. Little Leland enthusiastically told his mother every time she asked him what he would like to be when he grew up. Of course, you don't have to be an astronaut for people to remember you. You are too special for those who know you to forget. Remember that, my love. His mother told him lovingly, trying to make him understand that professional success is not the only way to earn the affection and recognition of others. I know, Mommy, but I only care that you and Daddy and my grandparents see me. If you're happy and proud of what I do, I will be happy. The rest is secondary, because family's always the most important thing. That's what you always tell me, isn't it? The little boy suggested mischievously, while giving his mother a knowing look. Of course it is, honey. Family always comes first, and we will always love you and support you in everything you do. It doesn't matter if you're an astronaut or a bus driver. We will be by your side unconditionally. That's the only important thing, concluded his mother. And the truth is that Leland achieved what he set out to do, to be unforgettable, but not in the way he had planned. In other circumstances, his name might never have reached our ears, but fate had other plans for Leland. Unfortunately, he would never become an astronaut, a writer, much less a bus driver. His destiny would not have the fairy tale ending that any child his age dreams of at night. Quite the opposite. Because life is sometimes really unfair, and Leland's story is a good proof of that. It all started in 2021, when Leland suddenly fell seriously ill and was quickly admitted to the hospital. His condition rapidly worsened, and soon doctors discovered that he had a brain infection caused by the amoeba Balamuthia mandrillaris. No one really knew how Leland contracted the bacteria, but it is possible that he came into contact with it while playing outdoors in the park. His favorite thing was playing in the dirt, Ms. Shoemake wrote in one of her Facebook posts. I never imagined that would be the thing that would take him away from me. Watching him play in the dirt and create sandcastles was his passion. It's really unfair that something that made him so happy was the cause of his death. I'm still coming to terms with it. We all are. At first, medical professionals were puzzled by Leland's illness, suspecting meningitis as the cause. Most of your son's symptoms point to meningitis, but the treatment is not working, and the other symptoms he's starting to develop are not consistent with the illness. We're sorry, but we'll have to keep running tests to find out what's wrong and try to remedy it as soon as possible. The doctor who treated their son during his hospital stay told them. He was an experienced doctor, and it was clear that he was as perplexed as they were about Leland's strange illness. However, upon further investigation, tests finally confirmed that the child was suffering from an amoebic infection of the brain. It was a very rare and difficult to treat type of infection, so the doctors did not give them much hope that the little boy could overcome the disease. Leland was getting worse with each passing day, and the treatments the doctors were using did not seem to have any effect. He has had severe headaches, fever, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, and now his eyes are crossed, and he can't focus on anything without his eyes moving and seeing double. 
His mother continued to explain in a Facebook post she wrote weeks after her son's death. Leland fought hard for his life, harder than doctors thought he was capable of. But sadly, one day, the disease won the battle and the little boy passed away. We are very sorry for your loss, but we assure you that during his last days of life, despite the complicated illness he was suffering from, your son felt no pain and left in peace, the doctor told them shortly after confirming the boy's passing. He has left this world just as he arrived, full of love. We know that you have done everything you could for our little angel. Thank you for everything, doctor, Leland's parents told him in tears. They were truly devastated. When his parents returned home from the hospital where they had said their last goodbye to their beloved son, waves of grief engulfed them. However, in the midst of the overwhelming grief they felt, they found something that caught their attention and managed to bring a smile back to their faces. A letter resting on the family's living room table. It was a letter from Leland. Leland, known for his endearing habit of leaving notes and drawings for his parents, had left one last heartfelt message to his parents. The note read, I am still with you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Love. Next to the text, the boy also drew a red heart containing three words, Mom, Dad, and Love. It is almost impossible to comprehend the meaning and comfort it must have meant to the grieving parents at such a difficult time. Leland's note served as a bittersweet reminder of the love and connection they shared, offering a glimmer of comfort in the midst of their heartbreaking loss. We have no idea when he wrote it, but you can tell he was always a special boy. Even being so sick and feeling so ill, he was able to draw strength to leave us one last gift. Our son is an angel who now looks down on us from heaven, his mother said on social media, explaining the letter she and her husband discovered when they returned from the hospital. It took the Shoemake family a long time to get over Leland's death, even requiring professional psychological treatment to help them cope with grief and learn to move on with their lives without guilt. For many months, Tim and Amber Shoemake refused to accept that their son was gone and let their grief consume them. Luckily, the help they received from friends and family throughout that time was crucial in keeping the depression from wiping them out. I know that the pain you feel now is immense and that there is nothing that can comfort you. I know because I too have buried someone who should not have left this world so soon. And do you know how I have managed that the pain and the rage I felt for his death did not end up consuming me too? By honoring his memory and doing exactly what they would want me to do. Your son left you that letter to remind you that the most important thing in his life was family and love. You should start there. Find a way to honor his life and turn your grief into comfort. One of her best friends, Henry, told Amber eight months after Leland's death. Henry had known Amber since childhood, and like her, had suffered the unexpected loss of a close family member, a nine-year-old niece who was killed by a motorist on her way home from school. So if anyone could understand what she and her husband were going through, it was Henry. And it was precisely thanks to him and his wise advice that Mrs. Shoemake had the brilliant idea of creating a foundation to raise funds for research into rare infectious diseases, such as the one that took her son's life, the Shoemake Foundation. Leland would be happy to help other children get cured. He wanted to do great things, but life wouldn't let him. Now I want his death to help others. I want medical research to be able to provide the answers that we didn't have. That is why I have decided to create this foundation, so that my son's death will not be in vain and the love he felt for this world will not die," wrote Mrs. Amber Shoemake in a Facebook post in which she announced the important decision she and her husband had taken. The following is a complete history of the Leland Shoemake Foundation. This is Amber. This will be my only message here for a while. I was very protective of Leland and did everything I could to keep him safe. He was my world. He made me a mother. We fought hard to save him. He was a preemie, but he came out screaming and healthy. He was smart from day one. He knew his ABCs, numbers, colors, shapes, and 20 words by the time he was a year old. 
He was our little nerd, and we loved that about him. He loved school and learning. He loved the History Channel, the Weather Channel, documentaries, and anything related to history. He loved ships like the Titanic, and learning about things like World War II. It was perfect. His favorite movie was Jaws. His favorite director was Steven Spielberg. And his favorite actor was Adam Sandler. He was the life of every party. His smile could light up a city. He was the smartest, most loving, caring, thoughtful kid who ever lived. He could have done great things in this world. We would only have a few friends in this country if it weren't for Leland. He never met a stranger and loved everyone. All my life, this has been my only fear, and it came true. No one should have to bury a child. I have always said I hope I am the first to die because I don't think I am strong enough to handle something like this. It still doesn't seem real to me. I find myself sitting here remembering things he used to say and movie quotes he used to repeat. I keep looking at his pictures, his drawings, his toys. Everything around me reminds me of my son, and it breaks my heart to know that he will never come back. Leland was the light of our life and the center of this family. I count the days until I see his sweet face and hear his beautiful voice again. Burying one's own child is the most devastating experience a parent can endure. Yet, in the midst of immeasurable grief, we are hopeful that we can continue to share Leland's story, ensuring that he will never be forgotten. We will love you always, Leland. PD, sleep well and don't let the bed bugs bite. Little Leland was an amazing child, and his legacy will be all the good his family gets to do in his name. It's not a pretty story, because the death of a child never is, but we should let it serve as a reminder to all of us to cherish every day of our lives, because we never know when circumstances may suddenly change. Did you like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.